Paul, and thanks for doing this. I'm I'm guessing uh, you're sharing in the enjoyment that uh, this team is experiencing right now with uh, just the way you're playing and the excitement level of, of, of coming to the rink on a daily basis. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, I mean, especially on a road trip. I don't recall a road trip in the last two years where we played like this on the road. And, um, you know, it's fun to start doing that. And, um, you know, it's really, you really see the team starting to come together. When you look at uh, the youth around you and you're only 24, are you feeling, are you feeling a little bit older than maybe you really are when you see yeah, the 19 year old? Yeah. 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 yeah, it's great. I mean, uh, it, we had group skill groups the other day and the older guys were in the later time and I was in the later time. And I was like, wow, I'm, I'm an older <laughs> guy on this team now and I'm 24. But uh, no, it certainly doesn't feel that way though. I mean, everyone's close and, um, you know, it's great to have the young kids come here too from Pinto and JBD and, you know, Pinner's living with me. So, so it's fun to have them at the house. Uh, the Canucks are one of the top face-off teams in the NHL and they showed it last night uh, with the next three games uh, looking ahead here. What can be done at the dot uh, from your team to have a little bit more success in the circle? Yeah, uh, I think being more aggressive. I mean, we're getting down to the dot and pausing and, um, you know, other guys are coming in full tapping and going and, you know, they're, you know, that's just, they're older guys in the league and, and they're, they know, they know how to take draws. And, um, you know, for us as a young team, we, we, we have to improve on it every day. And, you know, we probably take 50 faceoffs a guy after every practice now. And, um, you know, improvement will come with that. Chris Garriott, Post Media. You were saying that uh, is Shane's living with you. How's that going? Yeah, it's great. Um, you know, we're, we're always next to each other off the ice right now. And, um, you know, he's from Long Island, so he's an East Coast guy. And, um, <laughs> you know, it's great to have him here. And um, at the house, he, he likes to cook, too. So it's perfect for me. Oh, what's, he, what's his specialty? Uh, he, he had only one night there before he left. But it was <laughs> okay. Steak, potatoes, and veggies. Shocker. Just um, like you, you didn't want him staying in a hotel, right? Is that no, the no, no. Especially, you know, he's going to be a big part of this team, and um, you know, with COVID going around, and you know, I think JBD's with Shabbat and Pinter's with me, and um, you know, it makes these guys feel comfortable too around the team, and you know, it's fun to, for me to have them there and somebody to hang out with all day. And, and and last thing for me, Colin. I mean, you've been there too, right? Like you you've you've joined the team late, and you know how difficult that transition can be for for guys who come out of college. Yeah, definitely. And for me, it was it was during the playoffs, and then I was stuck at the hotel, so so I know how how tough it was to just be sitting at that hotel for almost three months, and um, you know, first time being away from my family. So. Um, for him to, to stay in my house, I think it's a lot of fun for both of us. Ian Mendez, The Athletic. Hey, Colin, just, just one question for you. If you Can you describe the difference in this team defensively in the last week versus earlier in the year? Like earlier in the year, honestly, from our perspective, you guys played a lot of sloppy, high event hockey, trading chances. It just seems like you guys are way more composed. Could you put your finger on what the biggest difference is in the last three games? Uh, you know, I think in the D zone, we're not just throwing the puck away and giving them the puck. Um, you know, we're sharing the puck with each other and making three or four passes to get out of the zone instead of just chipping it up the boards and then giving the other team the puck right away. And, um, you know, our goaltending has been outstanding lately. And, um, I mean, it's, it's easy to play when those guys are playing unbelievable. And, you know, I think just – on the banks, we're all staying positive too. Instead of if the guy makes a mistake in the D zone, you just let him know and move on to the next shift instead of just thinking about it. Final one is Matt Tidcom at senators.com. Hey, Colin. Uh, just from your perspective, kind of how exciting is it kind of watching the penalty kill right now with uh, Formington and Pinto flying around out there? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, Formy's been a stud on the PK for two years now. And, uh, now he's finally showing it off at the NHL level, and he's almost getting two or three chances a game just on the PK. And 
it's great to see. And then Penner, the last three games has been unbelievable. And I mean, he's got a great stick up top and, you know, intercepting a lot of passes. And those two together are creating chances on the PK. And that's all you can ask for, especially at a young age, for those two to be doing that.